What's up guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be doing my first Hack the Box tutorial. We are going to be getting started with Hack the Box and doing our first machine. So let's get into it. Okay, so you're gonna wanna be on your Linux version of choice for me, that is Kali Linux. I'm doing this in a VM. If you wanna check out my video on how to install Kali Linux on a VM, I will give you the link here in the corner of your screen or in the description. So once you're in Kali, we're gonna go ahead and go to Firefox and go to hackthebox.com. The link will be in the description or you can just type in www.hackthebox.com. Okay, so once you're on the website, go ahead and click get started here. And it's going to bring you to a register page. If you do not have an account, go ahead and make one, type in your email, hit sign up, it'll ask for a password and just a few other like preference things like what you actually want to get out of Hack the Box. There's not really a right or wrong answer, that's up to your preferences. Or you can sign up with Google, LinkedIn or GitHub. I already have an account so I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in. So now you should see this page. We are going to get started with the Hack the Box Labs, so hit start playing. Okay, so now we are looking at a bunch of different options for labs here. We are going to be starting with the starting point lab, as that is the first lab you should do um, when starting on Hack the Box. It may take it a moment to load, but to actually start our um, machine, we have to be connected through a VPN or use Pawnbox. I will not be using Pawnbox because you have to pay for it. What I will be showing you how to use and the reason for using Linux in the first place is we will be using OpenVPN. So go ahead and click here, connect using OpenVPN, and then go ahead and click download VPN. It's going to give you a script file. It should say starting point uh, underscore your username right here. Okay, so once your starting point VPN has downloaded you're gonna go ahead and open up a terminal window. Go ahead and CD downloads. And then we're gonna type sudo uh, open VPN starting point. Hit enter, it's gonna ask for your password for your computer. And then open VPN should start just like that. And that's all you have to do for open VPN. Now you should be able to go back to hack the box, hit refresh. And now when we hit connect using VPN, open VPN, it'll say that we are online and that is exactly what we want here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our first machine. So go ahead and hit spawn machine. It may take a moment for it to connect depending on your internet speed. And so as you can see, it gives you an IP address which we are going to need for later. But first, let's go ahead and answer the question. So what does the acronym VM stand for? That is going to be virtual machine. Very basic answer. I feel like everyone should know that. Hit submit, it'll give you a green check light. What tool do we use to interact with the operating system in order to issue commands via command line, such as the one to start our VPN connection? Uh, that is going to be the terminal. That is where we type in all of our commands. What service do we use to form our VPN connection? That is going to be OpenVPN. What tool do we use to test our connection to the target with an ICMP echo request? That is going to be the ping tool. If you've ever done any work in IT, you've definitely used ping in your terminal to test your internet connection and speed. So basically how ping works in a nutshell is it uses the internet control message protocol, aka ICMP, to send echo request messages waiting for an ICMP echo reply message from the target device. So basically it'll ping um, a device somewhere in the cloud or depending on what IP address you ping and then it will send back an echo and the time that it takes your first ping to make it to the target device and back is what will show up in your terminal when you type in ping. Okay, so basically what happened here, it won't let me go to the next task. That is because OpenVPN is no longer connected. So basically what you have to do is just go back to your terminal uh, window and run the command again. This may happen from time to time. So as you can see, now that the VPN is back up and running, we can go to our next answer. So what is the name of the most common tool for finding open ports on a target? That is going to be Nmap. Can't even type it right, Nmap. So basically Nmap is used 
to say you find an IP address and you want to find open ports on that network and you want to actually get into uh, the network using one of those open ports in map is how you would find uh, what those open ports would be. What service do we normally identify on port 23 slash TCP during our scans? That is Telnet. Telnet is a network protocol obviously that's used on port 23 that is used to establish like command line connection to a remote computer or server and finally what username is able to log into the target over telnet with a blank password that is going to be root hit submit answer okay so now we are to the end of our hack the box machine where we are going to submit a root flag and this is going to kind of put into practice all that we've learned. Now if you want a full walkthrough of everything you can literally hit read the walkthrough right here. So the first thing we're going to do is going to open a new window and we're just going to test the connection to our machine. So we're going to type ping uh, 10.129 point whatever the rest of your IP address is for your particular machine. It should say ping and it will give you a bunch of bytes. This will keep going indefinitely until you stop it. So you hit control C. So now we know that our device is our uh, target machine is fully accessible and connected. It says seven packets transmitted, seven received with a 0% packet loss. That just means that everything that was pinged towards the target was received back. And then of course we have the time that it took to do that. Okay, so now we can put our nmap command into practice. Um, so this is going to just scan for open ports. We're going to type sudo nmap-sv. This means that it will show the description of any ports that are essentially like unidentified. We don't know what they do or what they are. So then you type in your um, address here and hit enter. Type in your administrative password and then just wait on nmap to do its thing. Okay, so it shows that port 23 is open of type TCP and it uses Telnet, that is the service. And then it also shows here that there are 999 closed TCP ports. Um, and yeah, so that's our nmap command. It just shows what ports are open. Now it is time to go ahead and do the next step to submit our root flag. Okay, so now it is time for the fun part. We are going to use Telnet. So literally just type Telnet dot your IP address of the machine. And now we just wait for a second for it to finish connecting. And as you can see, we get a hack the box logo here and the login. So if you remember from our um, questions up here, the default username is usually root. So we're going to type in root. And now we're in. So it shows that we are in the Ubuntu system, which is being used on this first uh, machine here in Hack the Box. Okay, so now once you type ls and it shows the uh, contents of our machine, we have this flag.txt. That is what we were after. As you can see, we want to submit the root flag. So we're going to use the cat command, which is used for one of two things. It can either display the contents of a file or it can actually concatenate multiple files into a single output. In our case, it's just going to be reading a file. So we're going to go flag.txt, hit enter. And now we have our flag right here. So now we can copy and paste this guy. And then come here to our root flag. Paste, submit flag. Congratulations, you have now finished your first Hack the Box machine. I can't wait to continue to do more tutorials and I hope that as I continue to make these videos that I will get better at explaining them more in depth for you guys, for your understanding and for my own understanding as well. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.